Welcome to Dr. Justin Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this. From bounding into comics, two wrongs don't make a right. Star Wars host Christina Ariel shares alleged hateful posts directed at her. Well, in summary, if I'm going to be honest, um, she doesn't deserve the hate she received, obviously, but in comparison to what I've received already, they are very, very tame. Holy shit, there is only one, no, maybe two, that I will consider it problematic, but um, beyond that, I don't think so. They're just very, very tame, except two. Two were bad. But uh, overall, very, very tame. But then again, it doesn't matter uh, the level or the severity of the messages. She, she shouldn't be getting those hate messages. She shouldn't be doing uh, receiving any of those things. Uh, I obviously have received a lot of hate messages as well because, well, it's the usual thing. But the most interesting bit is that... Uh, the people who actually care a lot about foreigners and diversity and all of those things, especially people who actually, well, cares a lot about, uh, I don't know, uh, di well, diversity, I already mentioned that, but I, I, I mean equality and all those pesky little things. And, um, well, oh, did it, did it just freeze the computer? Hm, weird. Hope it's okay, CPU, don't go and fuck things up for me here, and I'm, I, I'm recording. The end, very, well, I'm continuing, they're very much, <laughs> hypocrites. Well, what can you do, really? These people are absolutely damn unhinged, but um, this is the usual things that happen with these people. Well, it's interesting. I did not save these in, uh, this screenshot of my fan art. I saved the fan art, but I did not save the screenshot of the message. Hmm. I probably will have to go on and go there to actually show it to you guys the love message that I've received. Let's go here and uh, and it showed to you guys the amount of hate. And look, I only received uh, with uh, what 112 subscribers, and I already have. Uh, this type of hate messages, I, I mean, just to put into perspective, this one here is absolutely a huge hypocrite. I mean, he goes on and on on a tangent about diversity and inclusion, and all those motherfucking pesky little subjects, obviously, uh, not quite directly mentioning those things, but uh, he's been one of those little bit of... Um, uh, what what are you gonna say like a tech that you go on you go on the, in a jungle or things like that oops sorry there you go you go on in a jungle and well, things like that and suddenly you have one tiny little parasite stuck on you without noticing it I got this because I've decided to share a, a post on Summon Max subreddit about uh, the the censorship that the Skunkade decided to well to partake in their remaster of the game. And this idiot here keeps following me. Let's just say that he needs a lot to learn about drawings, considering that um well, considering that he apparently works on some art, sort of certain things related to art. But anyway, do not contact these people that I'm showing to you, regardless if they are a tick, a parasite, or a goddamn stalker uh, like this dude. Do not contact them, because obviously these people are... Um, SJWs, socialists, and all of those things, so... 
If you contact them, even anything that goes against the narrative, it's going to be harassment up the nth degree with these people. It's like death threats. Just to show you the other pictures of me ranting and making beautiful little faces that he inspired himself on doing this beautiful art over here. Obviously, he's a bit of a uh, uh, hypocrite, suffice to say, but either way, even the amount of hate that I have received, this one is over my accent. Apparently, I have control over my accent, even though English is my third language, it's not my fault if I have an accent. But this moronic uh, retard over here, but again, again, do not contact these people. They think that everything is a harassment to them. Anything against the narrative is a harassment. So, please stay away. Do not talk to them. Do not mention them. This moron here thinks that I have control of my language. I even joked. So, I don't know if this is the screenshot where I actually had it. Uh, but, oh yeah, there it is. It's the first one. Would you prefer? Would you prefer an Indian accent? Which accent would you like me to make? Oh no, I can't do an African American accent. Which one would you um, technically offend you less? Hmm. Apparently, he lives inside a bubble and. Well, and when somebody lives inside a bubble, hmm, uh, uh, they actually think that everybody sounds alike. That's not the case. But on that note, I make a, I'll make a challenge to him. Can he speak German, French, Russian, or any other of those languages, including Chinese, without an accent? If he can, then my hat's off to you. I'll shut up and never talk in English again. But that's not the case. Let's go back to the article, shall we? Star Wars host Christina Alriel still has not addressed her tweets describing white people as racist. She will never do that, trust me, especially after she received backings from Star Wars. However, she did take to social media to share a number of alleged hateful comments directed at her. For those who have not been following this story, Bound into Comics reported on a number of tweets Ariel posted on Twitter over the course of 2020. In a number of those tweets, she calls white people racist. In order this, she specifically targets white women and white conservatives. Let me put it this way. She is now going to be a uh, talking host or something like that, of a um, series or something, showing how the Star Wars, the High Republic uh, comics, and I think uh, books, I don't know, um, showing how it's made, talking to artists, etc. So suffice to say, she's going to be the face of everything, and it's looking like crap. Especially because the High Republic are subscribing to Ken... Uh, what uh, to Kennedy's uh, Kathleen Kennedy's uh, take on Star Wars as in Luke Skywalker bad Ray absolutely gorgeous anything else evil that's how things are with these people anyway for example in March 2020 she wrote white people F asterisk asterisk stop it your racism won't save you your ignorance is not an excuse Obviously, she didn't. I uh, don't have an am not a bullet. I have such a that I don't own white people conversation about what I've been doing. What I've been doing. Well, considering how racist you are, you are actually causing racism and doing racist things against white people. I think you definitely. You are definitely a hypocrite. Uh, there's one in here that, uh, unfortunately, I don't think they quoted it, or am I missing? It, you don't, you just want to say, what about when some of it? Let's just say that she thinks that when white people addresses black people, they act like a monolith. Uh, but then she says the same thing about white people in the same exact sentence. Lack of self-awareness seems to be um, a thing with these people. 
they with these SJWs, they they have no 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 sense of awareness that they contradicted themselves and digged their own grave in the same exact tweet. Yeah, you would expect that it was one tweet one month ago, and then another one the next month. Okay, sure, change mind, something like that. But no, mm -mm. she actually she actually did contradict herself in the same exact tweet. Anyway, let's go and uh, and finish this. Uh, she wrote, "I don't have it." Uh, uh, just complicit and upholding and enforcing white supremacy. Following our expose, which was inspired by a report from Disney Star Wars, is dumb. The official Star Wars Twitter account would endorse Ariel's views here. <clears throat> they never ever came in defense of Gina Carano, ever. They didn't. They didn't even. Um, I, damn it! I forgot his name. Uh, you know, the guy at the voice of Darth Vader, they didn't even remember his birthday, that was a couple of days ago. Uh, uh, SJWs, he made, uh, he was, ni he, he's 90 now, whoa. I hope he keeps living long because his voice is all awesome. James Earl Jones, there you go. I suck at names. Now, Ariel has posted a number of alleged screenshots she claims to have received. The Star Wars High Republic host shared seven photos and wrote, We, the last 24 hours have been not the greatest. Uh, I think she means well. This is the one of the tweets or, or the messages that I said was quite uh, problematic. This one, everything else here wasn't just this one. Huh? This one I'll definitely put it on the very, very problematic. And then there is another one. This one is... Okay, probably this one too. So three. I uh, hope you have a mom. But then again, he's a uh, wait. I mixed. Uh, says he's a mixed race. And considering the um, the oppression ladder that these people offer or suffer from, or they think that people should be classified in oppression ladders. Probably this one is a nothing burger than this message because apparently uh, since he's not white. Uh, wait, or mixed in this case, then he's allowed to say those things. After all, these are the rules that SJWs made, so now suck it up, baby. Oh, yeah, you hate people because you're mine, and you're probably not. Ah, here it is. Uh, here, this one, this message over here. I don't know if, we, if they put it. Yes, here it is. This is the, well, the two messages that I mentioned that are quite problematic. This one and the other. Even though this one, uh, um, I prefer the way the blacks have done. They actually took the offensive word and made it their own. They made it like common, like me, uh, like it means a friend or, or somebody, somebody you know very well, who are acquainted. They, uh, that's one of the things that I absolutely admire. In what they did, unfortunately, uh, with the recent years, that uh, the SJWs have managed to ruin the pro the progress they made in that regard, because they made the they tried to revert the original word to the the word to the original meaning, while. Black, the African Americans spent decades trying to change the definition to a more positive one. And I admire the attempt that they did with that. And I think that's a good example of what people should do. Mm. And, um, yeah, SJWs, they ruin everything. Anyway, while this alleged comments directly directed at Ariel are disgusting and should be condemned, agreed, they should be wholeheartedly condemned, indeed the Bounding to Comics team does not condemn them, they do not absolve Ariel of her own tweets and comments targeted at white people, absolutely agree on that one too. Obviously she blocked the guys, and since I'm permanently all blocked from Twitter, so there's no point in checking. In the midst of this controversy, she shared a message that read, Oh, um, 
rather than feel hatred and hypocritically claiming to fight racism while exposing it, racist instigators on both sides of the argument could benefit from taking a page out of Gina Carano's book. In the midst of this controversy, she, she shared a message that read, quote, The moment we refuse to hurt others because of our own pain is the time we evolve as souls, end quote. She is absolutely on point. Which is why I think she's uh, Star Wars, the own Star Wars should actually have come on her defense. But that's never ever the case with these people because they are, um, they don't care. They only care about uh, social justice points, they only care about social justice, I don't know, virtual signaling points. Uh, for instance, they are trying to cancel bounding into comics over this. Bound into Comics targeted for false report campaign in retaliation for report on anti-white racism of Star Wars The High Republic host Christina Ariel. Well, because they Bound into Comics made the mistake to shed a light on her racist, very racist past. Obviously, obviously, they they don't like it when people sh show their hypocrisy. Especially this one here, who is very, very anti-male. She actually hates her fan base. Well, most of her fan base, the ones that suck up to her, the simps, she doesn't quite hate them, them that much. She may hold them to contempt, but still. Uh, Gamergate, Textbot, horse shit, they pulled on me and countless others. Uh, by actually showing your past. Your hypocrisy is that it? Mm. Uh, go ahead and block it if you don't have already. They're the ones trying to hate on Christina Ria for them to say that racism is bad. Meanwhile, she supports racism and say racist things. Huh, Joe? Uh, let me put it this way. Don't forget, she'll never sleep with you. And remember, don't contact any of these people. Not the first time I see someone do this to a black person, the fact it's from the wrong thing is no surprise. When to literally wrote their article. Let me put it this way. You're condemning racism, meanwhile you partake in racism. Hmm. Holding he doesn't like that she's holding racist white racist whites accountable. Well, you don't like that um Bound into Comics is holding a black a racist black accountable. Is that it? Hmm. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Well, uh, with these people, uh, they are just a bunch of filthy hypocrites. But what can you expect? Again, what can you expect? Look, Star Wars coming to their defense. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Gina Carano, who actually is a good actress, and she is an amazing person, not even a single defense. The hypocrisy, the hypocrisy, bound into comics again. And the signore, signore, threatened with physical violence and castration for defending Gina Carano. Where is Star Wars defending them? Mm -mm. Never. Every single tweet that you go through that mentions the... Mentions Star Wars, or there's even a mention of Gina Carano, uh, they, they actually demand her to be fired for her for her views in the world, more conservative views, you know, common sense views. A views with um, love and compassion. And they don't like that. Uh, okay, following the backlash received in the new announcer, uh, host Christina Ariel regarding her history of anti-white social media posts, the official Star Wars account, account tweeted in support and blah blah blah. Okay, let's see. I never heard of Christina, but I'm confused. Where's your tweet of supporting for of support for Gina Carano was? She's being endlessly bullied for things she never even said. Stop picking fav favorites and be truly inclusive by supporting all your talents equally, no matter who they vote for. Absolutely 100% Without even a single question, not even thinking twice, I support what Andy said. He's absolutely correct. Signore, uh, signore, or signor, I don't know what it would be because 
in Italian, this would be no. But, eh, well, anyway, we we'll then proceeded to share a number of co uh, collages originally put together by Twitter user DataRaces117. He's actually very good at collating those things. Which collected various social media posts directing hate and vitriol, even death threats, against G Gina Carano. Um, anyway, uh, that was my... I added a bit in there because she received a lot of death threats, but still... Dark uh, talk shit, get shit, can't or added. Maybe Gina needs to grow some fucking skin and she wouldn't have to go F off to parlor, which, oh, they got shut down because it was full of F Nazis. Well, no one, the Twitter keeps on kicking the bucket um, and being supported by these people because it's full of pedophiles. Right? Hmm. Attacking, asking Signore if he was going to do with this game a great shit and if the defense of Canada was the way you want to show your deck to the world. Look at the hate. And these people don't even know what the Nazi means. These idiots are goddamn filthy retarded. This is the stunt you want to pull. This is the way you want to show your deck to the world. A lot of us have been around this block. Can't. Holy shit, pickle. Uh, turning our attention to general, particularly those who disagreed with a real racist, racist rhetoric, racism. Uh, right, moving on, counter Shikara currently elected around, declaring that it was time for those who learned the skill sets of anti fascism and community defense to put them into effect. Just cruelty must be wielded against the unjustly cruel. So, should we cancel you because you're a fascist? A Nazi? Eh. Either way, remember. Do not contact these people, they are hypocrites, they are filthy fucking hypocrites, but do not contact them, do not talk to them, do not even look at them, do not even side glance at them, don't even look at their profiles or anything like that. Obviously you're gonna see pronouns, but still, still, do not contact them. Remember, they think that anything going against the narrative, against the world view, the r retarded world view, is harassment. So, do not, do not contact them. Leave them alone, wallowing on their own stupidity and, race and racist views. Okay? Anyway, um, well, with that being said, since they are hypocrites and they are ableists, obviously the guy with the with a hate boner against me thinks this. Poker lips are bad, even though they are normal. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though I do actually have a problem with my eyes because I have, um, what was it? Uh, no, strabismus. I think that's, I think that's the, the right word. Um, apparently, that's something you're born with. But it, I was, it, I didn't have that when I was a kid. It started quite recently. In fact started about eight years ago or so it's a late onset it's quite weird but that's something that surgery can fix unfortunately e -e -e, i don't have the money to do that and so with that being said it's definitely something that shares with the family itself because quite a few of my family have that problem with their eyeballs hmm. in the look Hehe. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for. Uh, no, no, no. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to. Oh, and if you want a more spicy content, head to minds.com forward slash Dr. Jester because I talk about things that are non caring, uh, not caring friendly stuff. And for caring friendly stuff, stay right here on YouTube. Dot com forward slash Dr. Jester. Thank you for watching. Good night.